Welcome to the ShareEdBC how-to video series. This video covers adding a classroom-ready resource. This type of resource is ready to use with your students right away. These resources tie closely to the BC curriculum and require curriculum data to be entered. Let us show you how this works. To add a resource, click on Resources in the top navigation area. Here you will find the Add Resource button. Let's click on the big orange button to get started. Open the Type drop-down menu and select Classroom Ready. Enter the title for your resource. Enter a short and catchy description that will pique the interest of educators searching for a particular resource. Attach your file or files if you have any. You can add up to 15 files. To add more files or links, click on the plus sign next to the field or click in the blank field. Any attachments or links added to your resource are subject to the Creative Commons license and copyright terms and conditions. You can click here to read them. Add a website, link or links. As well here, you can add up to 15 links. At least one file or website link is required in your resource. Certain file types are accepted within ShareEd BC. Please refer to the Help menu in the drop-down menu beside your name and go to the FAQ section. The Instructional Language field defaults to English, with French being the other option. The focus area is used to identify if the resource includes assessment, English language learners, focuses on inclusive education, or Indigenous education. The other option being online learning. Should you choose Indigenous Education, you will notice there is an additional selection below that field. This allows you to choose an authentic First Peoples resource. The definition for this field can be found in the Help section under the Resources FAQ. Should your resource require access to technology, select Student and or Teacher you need to select at least one supporting material that applies to your resource. You will notice the orange brackets against these fields, which indicates they are mandatory. Select from the six core competencies for this resource. You can close each of these windows either by clicking anywhere within the screen or at the X in the top of the window. Select your curriculum area. For this resource, we are going to do ADST, Mathematics, and Science. And this resource applies for grade 6. You can select multiple grades or curriculum areas as required. If the Next button cannot be clicked, check that all mandatory fields have been completed. Click Next when ready. Expand the course list by clicking on the top left plus sign. Choices available depend on the curriculum areas and grades selected in the previous step. It is advisable to select at least one course per curriculum and grade area. For this resource, we only have the option for core. When ready, click Next. You can expand the Big Ideas list by clicking on the top left plus sign again. Choices available depend on the courses selected in Step 2. Choose your Big Ideas for your resource. Click Next when ready. Again, the choices presented here on the Curricular Competency screen depends on the courses selected in Step 2. Here you will see many options for your curricular competencies. Choose the ones that apply to your resource. On these screens, it is advisable to select at least one competency per curriculum area and grade.
You can select all the competencies within a category by clicking on the title or in the box. Then you can uncheck the ones that you don't require. Once you have selected all the competencies you require, you can click on Next when ready. The same applies for curricular content. These are the ones that have been presented to you based on the selections in Step 2. Select the ones that apply for this resource. When you have completed the selections for your curricular content, click Next when ready. You are almost done. Step 4 is the final step in creating your resource. Any additional notes that you would like the other educators to know can be entered here. Acknowledge any other contributors to your resource in the Author Credits field. If you have the permission to be an organization moderator, you will have a box selected called Organization Resource that indicates it's a resource to be tagged to your school district. If you uncheck the box, the resource will be attributed to yourself. If you don't see the Organization Resource field, the resource will automatically be attributed to you. You need to read the Creative Commons license and copyright terms and conditions. When you have, click on the checkbox to agree. You are now ready to submit your resource. Click on the Submit button to send the resource to a moderator. Other educators will find your resource after it has gone through the publishing process. If you're not ready to submit it to a moderator, you can save draft now and go back later and finish it when you're ready. Thanks for watching this how-to video and enjoy using ShareEdBC.